Hi. Today we're going to look at making a large 3D printed dome. Looking at my printer specification, my largest build area is 150 mm by 225 by 150 on the XYZ axis. The dome that needs to be printed is larger than the printer build envelope. First I will make a box the same size as the build envelope for reference purposes. The dome to be created is 184 by 184 millimeters and 100 in height. The dome does not need to be solid, so I copy the dome and make it slightly smaller than the original. This smaller dome is then converted to a hole that will be subtracted from the larger one. Both domes are easily and perfectly aligned using the align tools. Checking the alignment, they can then be grouped together. As we can see the dome does not fit inside the build area. It must be cut down into printer sized parts. This can be a little fiddly, but with some patience it works great. The idea is to make copies of your part and chop them in half. Here I make a whole box cover roughly half the part. The dome is then copied. This is easily done using the Windows Control C then Control V method. Both domes are then laid over each other perfectly. This can be done by I or using the align tools again. Changing the color of the parts creates a visual aid. Notice they change appearance when they are exactly overlaid. The whole box is now copied and moved to cover the opposite side. Ensure the edges of the two boxes meet accurately. Again, changing the colors helps to show then the boxes are apart, meeting or overlapping. Once aligned, drop one of the boxes out of the way. Select one side of the dome and then while holding the shift key select the box on the opposite side. Group the two items and the dome is now just half a dome. Now pull the remaining box up to recover the other side of the dome. Select both the box and visible dome using shift and combine them using group. We are now left with a dome in two halves. Now we can check to see if this will fit our 3D printer build area. By rotating one of the parts by 180 degrees we can try and fit both halves onto the build platform at the same time. With a small amount of jigging both parts easily fit within the build area.
In the next part of the video we will break these into smaller parts which may be required to reduce warping issues. Please like and subscribe if you would like to see more. Any requests are welcome.